It's another struggle facing rural communities access to local health care. Many rural hospitals have scaled back services or closed altogether. Last month, you may remember, we told you about Harrington. It lost its hospital in more than 100 years. Sean Logging sat down with the leader of an area rural hospital about the challenges they see and the ongoing work to ensure that these vital services in rural communities last. Mike Rachel, the CEO of William Newton Hospital, sums up the state of rural health care as struggling across the nation. He says it's not just those facilities in really rural areas, but even those somewhat close or adjacent to larger cities. Brian Barda says easy access to health care is vital for rural communities, so people don't have to travel extensively for primary care. And overall, it helps those places thrive. William Newton Hospital serves Winfield with four, four clinics serving communities in Elk and Chautauqua counties. He points to a number of factors leading to those challenges for rural health care, the pandemic, patients with more serious conditions after deferring care, and the difficulty of affording health care coverage. That's why Brian says Medicaid expansion is needed so people can obtain that coverage. On the business side, he tells me it's more difficult getting insurance companies to cover services, even just a portion of those costs. When insurance reimbursement is denied, that's an expense the hospital takes on. Very focus on, on patient care and quality and taking care of of all of their needs. Um, a big part of it um, is, is being able to be reimbursed adequately for those services. Uh, there's not a whole lot of other um, industries that would go out there and continuously take a loss um, from providing services or um, selling goods. You know. Brian tells me Medicaid expansion isn't the solution to solve all the problems facing rural health care, but it would help them move forward on at least one issue. While Governor Laura Kelly is again pushing for Medicaid expansion, it will likely continue to see difficulty advancing in the Republican-controlled Kansas legislature. Thank you, Sean. Data from the Center for Health Care Quality and Payment Reform finds that more than 150 rural hospitals have closed in the U.S. in the past two decades. That does include 10 in Kansas.